Hey Joey Jacks, it's Uncle Mike again, and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a football in 3D Max. So the first thing you want to do is to create a plane in the background that'll be the image of the football we want to be creating. I'm just going to drag it out. I know the image I'm going to use is square, so we'll just make this 300 by 300 units or so. We don't need any length segments or height segments, that might just confuse us. Um, so that looks good. The next thing we want to do is make sure that this front view, which is what we'll be working out of, is instead of wireframe, we want it smooth and highlights, and we also want edged faces so that we'll see the cut lines. Okay, we need to put our football onto this back plate here. So let's go to the material editor, bring that up, and then in the diffuse channel, let's search for a bitmap. We'll go to my picture folder where I have it saved. Yours will be, you know, wherever you have yours. And let's see here. I think it have it under NFL football. Here we go. See, it's 300 by 300 square. That's why I made the plane square. Click open. And then we want to assign this material to that plane and then click the show standard map and viewport. And now you see we've got that image where we want it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to basically make this full screen so we can work on it. And let's now grab from the standard objects here, a sphere. Okay, so we'll just kind of put this in the middle and drag this out to be about the right size. You can make this as many segments as you want. 32 is probably fine. We're going to rotate this around. Make sure your angle snap toggle is on. And you will rotate this 90 degrees uh, so that it is lined up kind of point to point with the football. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do is to come in here and add an edit poly modifier. So scrub down here, add edit poly. And what we want to do basically is take the points of this and pull these out. Um, and in the last one with the lightsaber, I showed you how to do that, you know, point by point. But there's another way that you can do it um, that makes it a little faster for the football. And that's by using what we call soft selection. And if you roll down here, you can see soft selection here. Click that down. And what soft selection allows you to do is to basically grab a point, so like this very end point here. And if you'll see, if I increase the fall off here, all these different lines start changing color. And that means where it's kind of the brighter orange to red, you'll have more um, pull or more impact when you pull that one point. And where it's blue, you'll have less. So I have that one, uh, I'll show you what happens, the difference. So if you don't use soft selection, you grab just that end point, you pull it out, you get this really long spiky thing. Hit Control Z to undo that. Turn soft selection on so it affects this half of the football. Then if you pull that out, you kind of pull everything out to get more of the uh, football shape that we want, uh, which is, I think looks pretty good actually. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Pull that out. Uh, not looking too bad, however, in the middle here, you can see it's not quite as plump as we would like. So what we'll do is we will select, I think it's this row and this row. I'm hitting control and dragging to select them both. Then we'll come in here to the scale uniform tool pop back down to one of our other axes, and what we want to do is grab the one from the left or the side and only do this in the left and right or the up and, uh, I guess that's Y and Z in this direction. So we want to scale that out until we plump it out and make it the right shape of a football. So if we come here to the perspective, we can turn off the edit poly modifier, roll around here, and we've kind of got the shape of a football, but not quite yet. All right, let's hop back into our edit poly modifier and this time choose edge. And what we want to do is select one of these edges here, oh, turn off soft selection, one of these edges from the side, directly on the side, and then from the top, you want to hit control and select one of these top edges too. So if we turn on the edged faces, you can see in the side viewport here, I've got one on this line selected and one on the top line. They're at 90 degrees from each other. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to create or select what's called a loop or an edge loop. And if you click the loop button, it basically grabs everything that goes around in this circle uh, from the top and the bottom. So you see we have all these things selected. 
which is exactly what we want. We also need to grab the ones from the other side. So where this loops around, hit control for that. And then where this comes down, right on this line, which I think is right here, we'll select that and hit edge loop again. So now we have all four of the edges selected that we want to go around. And this is going to be kind of the seams of the ball where the ball is stitched. So we got those done. Looks great. Okay, now what we want to do is come down here to the edit edges and you want to champ for these edges. You want to basically spread them apart a little bit. And I'll zoom in here so we can see exactly what's happening. Actually, we can probably turn off this back plane right now because it's uh, going to be hard to see. Okay, we can just hide that. Hit select it and hit hide selection. There we go. So now we're back here grab the edge again you can see our edges are still selected um, come down here to the chamfer and just hit this box chamfer set the chamfer settings now we can basically choose how much we want to chamfer this and we don't really need too much here just just a, a, enough for me it's going to be about a half an inch or eight sixteenths of an inch and then hit apply or hit OK there we go now we're going to select the little lines here inside the oops inside the edges not that line let's zoom in here that one of these little lines here this there you go one of those little lines and then on the other side we need to select that little line again let's hit control and just kinda oops if you use the select object you won't move anything around on if you're not trying to so we'll hit control and select these edges which will select the back edges as well and then select these come down here select these and then select these and this time instead of using the loop function we're going to use the ring function and the ring function basically chooses uh, edges that are kind of perpendicular to each other. So if we hit ring, you can see we've selected all the little segments that we created. Now here's a handy dandy little trick. If you've got this, these uh, edges selected that you want and you want the polygons or the faces on the inside, hit control and then click polygon and it will select all the polygons that are basically um, highlighted by those edges. So now we have those, what we want to do is come up here to the scale tool. Actually, let's not do the scale tool. Let's go extrude. Come down here, click extrude, and this time let's decrease the extrusion height and extrude this inward. And if we come over here to the edge, you can see how far we're extruding. We want to do this, you know, a pretty good amount so we get a nice, whoops, inward. I'm not seeing this being extruded inward. Local normal. There we go. You want to do it by local normal. There we go. <laughs> Maybe not that much. Let's come back out to about oh, about right there looks good. Negative one. Then click OK. So now we have our football. We can get out of our edit poly mode. And if we render this out, do a quick render here, you can see it kind of looks like a football, but it's pretty jaggedy. It doesn't look, quite look as nice as we want. Um, also on a different renderer, so let me just switch that over. Go to default scan line. There we go. Now, still a little bit jaggy, so we don't want that. So let's come up here to the modifier panel again and come down here to Turbo Smooth and increase the iterations to two. Now, if we render it out, voila, we have ourselves a very cool football shape, complete with the uh, lines drawn into it. So, um, not gonna get into texturing because this is a 10 minute tutorial and ya or, uh, YouTube is really finicky about that, only 10 minutes, um, but we'll cover texturing next and maybe even do some laces. So hopefully, you know, practice this guys and we'll see you next time.